okay, here I am in front of a uh, of this memorial that is for the people who died in the World Wars. This is a place in Cape Town, South Africa. And <coughs> that's the statue of this guy, uh, Cecil Rhodes, Cecil John Rhodes. Cecil John Rhodes was one of the most important, or probably the most important South African tycoons. He made a fortune here in Cape Town. And that fortune was enough for him to build a country of his, for, her, for his own, Rhodesia, now called Zimbabwe. As with as with the American tycoons, he was probably not the most um, politically correct person for a political correct um, view point of view. However, he built this. Un oh well, he 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 gave the terrain to build this university, Cape Town University, one of the most important universities in all Africa. And so he is a man of contrast uh, for what, what he did. He helped building South Africa, he helped building uh, Rhodesia. Uh, one, on the, one of the most influential people, one of the most wealthy people in Africa in his time, probably the most wealthy people, the most wealthy person. And see, this is one of the contrasts that you f find here in this tip, in this tip of the world. So I've come to Africa, and so far the only kind of found I've seen are birds. Uh, there are these huge, huge ducks and some, I don't know which, which are there, they are some kind of, um, I say, I, I don't know the name in English for the kind of birds that the stocks are in, but it's, they are not really stocks. Um, one of the things I wonder about South Africa, I, I think it's not plenty, I haven't talked with many people about it, uh, just uh, a little glance, is how, how to rebuild, how to, how to reconciliate uh, present history. I uh, mean, recent uh, as in some, something that is still in the living memory of most of the population. So uh, that is a kind of a shameful thing to in, in your history, and it's the apartheid. Uh, how you build a concept of nation in a country that was so divided? in his society, uh, the blacks, the whites, the Indians, the colored. Uh, someone who's, uh, who's, someone as uh, Cecil John Rhodes, who helped building this country, but uh, even if it's not to blame, exactly for the apartheid, um, he lived in a society in which, in which uh, racial divisions was the norm and he probably used it in his favor for becoming a wealthy man. Um, most of the people I have talked here in South Africa are whites, most of them Afrikaner. And well, most of them are, are from a generation that don't have a li that didn't remember the apartheid. Uh, even those who do, they may not question it. Um, 
you can still feel kind of a um, racial divide. Um, not, uh, not the, probably not in the form of racism, just a form of, um, I don't know, it's like probably people living in different circles in like uh, social stratification or something like that. Uh, of course, most of the people that you f find in the street that are poor, uh, beggars and something like that, they're mostly blacks. I haven't seen yet a white beggar or a white uh, mm, people that are, seems to be from the poorer parts of societies, of course, um, there should be, but uh, not as visible as, as the blacks. However, you can find blacks in all levels of society here. Um, I don't know how a big issue is still the race here, but most of the most of the groups you see of people, they are e either blacks or whites. They are you. You almost doesn't see. You almost don't find mixed groups of people in the street. Uh, is that uh, something that has to do with the, with the previous apartheid? Um, I don't know. People doesn't seem to remember the apartheid. Those who do as something that was even positive. They, this kind of something that I haven't found, something that I haven't got deep is still in, get, in getting. So I'm in a rugby field right now, right now, and this is one of the things that uh, people point that. Uh, Probably rugby is the white sport, likes, while soccer is the black sport. Um, I don't know if that if most of the differences that you find in are related there to uh, that kind of things than to something that like is uh, okay. You if you are black you cannot play rugby or if you are white you cannot play soccer. Mm, just like okay they have people have different expectations according to their past. And here I am going after one of those big dogs. Um, okay. They are not precisely fond of me going after them. So what was I doing here in South Africa? I was helping with <laughs> what's called coordination for the International Math Olympiads that have just been held here in Cape Town. And this is a meeting of people, mostly students, but also the senior staff that, that accompany the students. It's a, it's a meeting around comp competing in mathematics. And this kind of competition in mathematics, uh, I was part of it in my past. Um, I think it's something that helped people to think, not only about math, uh, just to make a mental state of mind that helps you think about many other issues and meet people and you have to meet, you meet people from all over the world from Asia, from Africa, from North and South America, from Europe and you deal with them you your opinion, your mind opens uh, into knowing there are other people and to knowing that there are no big differences. And to knowing that this is a world that is made for we all. Not some how people think different in some issues and think alike in many others. 
and that was a, that's a nice thing. I think it's a nice a nice thing to, for people to have this kind of experience. Um, now, in come back to the IMO, to the International Math Olympiad, um, as a coordinator, as a, someone who helps scoring to help um, the competition part of the of this meeting. And kind of you find the, you find the same spirit. Of course, now you are a senior. You are a, have more seniority than when you were a competitor. So this is why I haven't posted uh, much videos lately, at least uh, or participated much in the in the last week. So, see you soon.